sharing my screen. So I hope you are able to see my screen. Yes. Yes. Great. So I think if you have gone through uh, YouTube videos, especially the bootcamp, you have gone through this slide as well. But uh, as we are starting this uh, paid training, so I just want to reiterate this thing. So uh, lots of folks are uh, like in, in the dilemma, uh, I'm just doing this training thing. So that is not uh, the correct thing. So uh, I'm doing uh, real-time consulting as well. So in my morning time, uh, I'm associated with a, a consultancy firm where I'm working on the project as tech lead. And in that organization, I'm like training uh, new hired people and experienced folks as well. Apart from that, like in my free time after 5 p.m., I'm focusing on my own venture that is uh, Sanjay Gupta Tech School. So here, like whatever Salesforce knowledge I have uh, gained in last six years, six to seven years, uh, if we include this year as well. So I'm just sharing that knowledge to the beginners. And you might you might be thinking like uh, how my uh, videos or my teaching methodology uh, gone like so famous. Uh, this is because I have 10 years of education industry experience as well. So prior uh, coming to this ecosystem, I was uh, teaching uh, programming languages to engineering students. So I know like how to uh, train beginners, how to read their mind, like what kind of uh, doubts they will be having. So keeping that in mind, I prepared uh, lots of videos on Salesforce. And this year I delivered a bootcamp as well, right? So uh, I'm just clubbing my both the experiences. And uh, it is very rare, like in, in real time, uh, real time world, like you will be having a person who is having both kind of experiences, right? So uh, this is my USP, you can say. And uh, I have lots of patients. So if you ask a question uh, any number of times, so I will be explaining it with full dedication and patience, right? So that's why uh, like from last 16 years, I am into this field, which is very annoying as well, right? But I am enjoying this and uh, uh, like uh, 12, 13 hours a day, like uh, if I am teaching regularly, so I just enjoy that, okay? And these are the list of certifications that I have done. So one thing I want to uh, quote here, uh, certification quality matters, numbers doesn't matter, right? Because if you have basic knowledge like admin, app builder, and uh, PD1 or PD2, so that is basic for every consultant. And if we go beyond, then comes particular cloud, right? So you can see I have three cloud certifications, sales, service, and nonprofit. That is okay. So if I'm working in an organization where these uh, these cloud related projects are available, so I'm uh, like, I'm okay uh, for that company, right? If they are working on any other cloud where new certification is required, then only uh, I would suggest like, I need to do more certifications, right? So in uh, this industry, like number of certification doesn't matter. If you have particular certification and you if you have that particular knowledge then it matters a lot, right? Now, this was about me. So next is self-paced versus instructor-led training, right? So now like in, in today's session, whatever we are going to discuss is to set a pitch, like why everybody uh, needs this session that we are uh, going to have for next six months, right? So uh, like today we'll be discussing everything uh, like next two to three days, uh, we'll be starting regular session. And next week, I will be asking like, if now you are comfortable, we can go ahead and then you can make the payment. Okay. And uh, like, if, if we compare self-paced versus instructor-led training. So all the things, uh, not, I would say not all the things, because uh, there are a lot, lot many things that we'll be covering in this, uh, the, you can say in this training program. So uh, if we say like 60% or 60 to 70% things are already available on internet, that is taught by me, right? Then why we need this thing? So first answer is like uh, the remaining 30% that is not available there that we'll be covering here. Then uh, the 60, 70% that is already uh, available there. So 
uh, then if we have those things, so why we need uh, this instructor-led training? So the answer is uh, easy. I uh, interacted lots of folks, those attended my boot camp as well. But uh, those who are able to do 100% self-paced learning, they enjoyed that very well. Those who found some problem, like they, they just gone through 10 to 15 videos, and suppose uh, like admin thing is very easy. Everybody is able to understand those concepts. Then uh, when they jumped on app builder, like flow related things or Apex related thing, then they felt like uh, uh, like bootcamp was one way. Like I was uh, teaching and through chat, uh, people were used to ask questions. But when they were practicing, so there were no one available who can resolve their doubts. Right. And if let's say in one of the session, your doubts are not cleared, so it will demotivate you and uh, you will lose interest. And maybe in two to three days, you will end up like leaving Salesforce. Right. So this is the main advantage of instructor led uh, training program. Right. So every week, four times we'll be connecting. And on website, like it is one hour training program, but I stretched it for one hour, 30 minutes. So I thought like in, in the Zoom call itself, uh, whatever use cases we will be discussing, you will be doing some hands-on as well. And I will be there if you face any difficulties or immediately we'll be discussing those problems. So this is the major advantages of uh, instructor-led training, right? And uh, as you can see, the price of this program, it is... Uh, $300, right? Which is also reduced to $250, right? Which if, if we calculate in Indian rupees, it will be around 20,000, which is very less if I show you the next slide. So this these are the things that we will be covering in this training program, right? So I want to give you as much as, as I can so that you can also do a justification whatever amount you are paying to me, right? So... If you compare this whole job readiness training program with any other uh, training program that is going on uh, in whole world, you will find uh, like there are uh, different uh, modules available, which are not available in those training programs, right? So first month we'll be covering admin plus flows, right? Second month we'll be covering QA plus BA related sessions, right? In third month, we'll be focusing on development, that is backend development. So I will be starting from the beginning, Apex, right? So I will be teaching you the basics of uh, object-oriented programming as well, right? And uh, this, I think you have, uh, if you have attended the bootcamp session, you already gone through, like I explained each and everything from the beginning so that beginner can understand, right? So uh, our these training program sessions will be covering uh, both the both the audience like if you are a beginner then also you will enjoy if you are intermediate then also you will be enjoying those things right and i know like basic admin knowledge everybody will be having but uh, in for this training program i have created a more bigger end to end project so apart from these monthly sessions we'll be having uh, one more end to end project that we'll be going through so I think there is some question. Okay, so do we need to learn code Java or knowing basic concepts is enough for picking up? Yes, if you know the basics of Java or basics of like basic OOPs concept, if you know, then that is okay. Still, if you doesn't know, I will be covering them, right? In one week, we'll be brushing up all the object oriented related sessions, right? So all the topics I will be clearing so that, uh, if you are not knowing those things, then also you will be uh, equivalent to the person who is already knowing those things. Okay. Then month four, fully dedicated to Aura and LWC. And this is very much important, right? Because in recent interviews, these uh, this LWC is uh, like questions related to LWC is uh, often asked, right? So whole month will be for that. Then Omni Studio plus integration will be in month five. Omni Studio, this is the recent tool, right? It was earlier associated with Velocity, but uh, Velocity Salesforce acquired and the tool which Velocity company was using, it is renamed and it is known as Omni Studio, 
and whatever industry clouds we have nowadays, uh, it can be media cloud, it can be consumer goods cloud, it can be non-profit cloud, right? It can be health cloud, education cloud. All these clouds are targeting particular industry, right? So to come to uh, to build automation for those industry clouds, Omni Studio is very much important, right? So we will be uh, seeing like how we can uh, use that Omni Studio tool and uh, with the help of different use cases for Omni Studio also there is one bootcamp going on, but still. Uh, I, I can see like it is being monotonous because we are doing all the hands-on. We don't know like uh, listeners or viewers are doing or not. But in this program, like anyhow, uh, you need to do because it will be driven by you. I will be explaining things, but more you will be doing. And I will be asking anyone like, uh, can you share your screen and show what you have implemented, right? So it will be a uh, like, it will be a regular check for you. And I will be giving you a proper uh, uh, schedule so that you can follow that. And uh, if you know things, you can revise. If you if you want to learn things from the beginning, so uh, you can just learn those. Okay. And last month is for sales, service, and experience cloud. These three clouds are like basic clouds. And if you are a beginner or intermediate, so first five months, everybody knows, right? But when uh, interviewer asks, like, do you know uh, any cloud? Do you have any expertise in particular cloud? So they they uh, particularly don't know all the functionalities of particular cloud. So that's why these are three basic clouds that I kept in this training program. And then we'll be having some mock interview sessions where, like, I will be creating some groups. Uh, uh, like two to three folks will be uh, connected with me, and I will be asking some questions. And if you uh, throw some answers. So I will see like whether you are able to answer it correctly or not, or is there any improvement required? And then we will reframe your resume basis on these skill sets, right? So this is the end-to-end -end training program that I will be running. Now I'm going to pick some questions from chat. So Anirudh is asking, what is BA module in Salesforce? So BA means business analyst. So QA stands for quality analyst. BA stands for business analyst. So this whole training program, uh, which I curated is uh, focusing on, uh, like, I just want you to make a consultant, not administrator, not developer, not QA, not business analyst, right? So if you see everything as a whole, so you are becoming a consultant and consultants are in demand nowadays. Okay. So... I hope Anirudh, I am able to answer your question. Yeah. Then uh, Sri Lakshmi is asking JavaScript, HTML, CSS needed for RILWC. Yes. And we will be covering that as well. Okay. So in one or two weeks, like in one week only, I think we will be able to cover HTML, CSS and JavaScript basics. And then we'll be focusing on Aura, on Aura and then LWC. Right. So in, in a week, we'll be having um, six hour sessions, right? Six hours, you will be directly connecting with me. And apart from that, you will be having lots of work to implement, right? So I think uh, daily, if we talk about four days in a week, if you give three hours, one and a half hour to me and one and a half hour to yourself. So three hours is enough. Total 12 hours in a week. So Monday to Thursday, Friday to Sunday, you are free. I am free. Okay. Uh, so Anirudh is asking, what are the areas you will be covering under QA and BA? Yeah, so that I will be showing you. So uh, uh, we will be covering these things with the help of a project. So uh, soon I will be showing you that thing. Uh, Sri Lakshmi, Visual Force I won't be covering because it is outdated, right? Aura, I will be covering. LWC, I will be covering. Visual Force is not part of this. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, Lakshmi, I will be giving you Trailhead modules as well. Okay. So let me jump on to the next slide so that I can show you the admin and app builder module. Okay. If I open this, so here you will see everything. So this is our first month. And... Uh, in first month, we'll be just focusing on admin and app builder. 
right? So here you can see under reference links, these are trailheads. So I just divided them session wise. So maybe in one session, we will be covering uh, content related to two sessions. So it depends on uh, the audience uh, like you, like if, if we have all the things sorted, so maybe in one session, we can cover two session topics, or maybe like we need to split particular session into two sessions. So it depends how we go. So here, wherever you see reference links, so it is like trailhead module, which is already uh, given here, right? So it is related to admin. Here we will be covering a data related thing like data import wizard, data loader, then data security, permissions and all, then reports, dashboard. And uh, from here, we'll be covering flow. So in flow, we have screen flow, record triggered flow, scheduled flow, and uh, we'll be covering auto launch flow. and uh, platform event triggered flow. So this also will be covered. And all these reference links are trailhead. Even more to practice, so these are also trailhead. So I will be sharing this document with you so that uh, you can also go through with all the trailheads. Okay, so these are the session related information. Now you might be thinking, where are the use cases related to flow builder? So that will come up, okay? So I, right now I'm just showing you the topics. Then this is month two. So we'll be covering QA related session and uh, BA related session. BA related session I need to enhance. So it is still in progress. I will be adding some more topics here, right? So QA quality analyst. Uh, so whatever we build, we need to do some testing. So that we'll be doing uh, as a QA role. And uh, whenever you are working on a project, so on each project, there are BA associated business analyst. So business analyst basically gather the requirement from the client. And after gathering the requirement, they build some stories, right? Stories upon developers work and tester test those stories. So those uh, things are done by business analyst. So that will be covering here. So within two months, these all things will be covered. Okay. Now, how these things are uh, different from uh, like the sessions, which are already delivered on YouTube. So they were one way, like we just uh, shown how we do testing, right? You have not done those testing things. You have not uh, used any application where you can track like, uh, is there any bug or, or uh, this, this particular story is working fine or not. So all those things you will be working. Okay. Now, okay, let me take uh, some more questions. Uh, yes, Lakshmi. So we can uh, we can have this approach as well. So I have all the uh, PDFs prepared for interview questions along with answers. So maybe like every two week, bi-weekly, what we can do whenever we have covered a few topics, so we can do a discussion session, right? Where uh, we will be discussing uh, important interview question and answers that we can do, right? And that's why I'm recording this as well. So I will be sharing this recording with you. Uh, only this session is being recorded, right? Rest, I won't be recording because I want you to join all the session actively live. Because if we record all the session, then you might be missing some of the sessions, right? So I won't be recording any other session. This I'm recording so that you remember like what we discussed initially. Yeah, so Mohit, uh, for you, like if you have registered for two months, so initial two months, you can join and then you can leave because uh, in month three, we'll be starting development related sessions. Uh, yes, Sagar. So Sagar, a job related question we'll be discussing at the end. Yeah, so Surandram is asking, we'll be uh, having the guidance like how to create stories. Yes, that I'm also going to show. Uh, yes, Priyanka, for four days, timing will be same, 7 to 8.30. Uh, yes, Mohit, uh, we will be discussing this job-related stuff at the end because I know lots of people have this question. So 
uh, let me just complete my stuff and then I will be answering your questions as well. Okay, so this admin QA BA module uh, we saw. Now, let me jump on to the development module. So those who have opted for both like admin as well as development. So this is for them. So from month three, we will be starting Apex related session. And as uh, someone asked me, like, uh, can we have trailheads? So here you can see for Apex, these are the basic trailheads that you need to go through. Then these are the topics that we'll be uh, discussing with the help of slide decks and all. And these are the use cases that we will be discussing. So few I will be explaining and uh, lots, lot of use cases you will be solving in the session itself. Okay. So 35 use cases are related to Apex itself. Then comes trigger. So again, we'll be discussing all the topics related to trigger. Then here you can see all the use cases. So these are unsolved. Solutions are also available on internet. I share this PDF, but here we'll be discussing each and everything, right? So few scenarios I will be implementing and then most of the scenarios you will be implementing uh, wherever you will be facing any doubt. So you will be sharing your screen and I will be guiding you like uh, you should implement this uh, in this way, not the way you implement it. So this kind of uh, discussion, discussion session we will be having. Okay, so these are trigger related use cases. Then we have test classes, right? So for each and every trigger use cases, we will be implementing test classes as well. Then asynchronous Apex, again, trailhead topics, then use cases, then uh, API and web service callout. So this is related to integration. Okay, then we have Aura. So all these trailheads, topics, use cases, then lightning web components, Trailheads, topics, and use cases, right? Sorry, this is this is Omni Studio, and these trailheads are not related to Omni Omni Studio. So these topics are related to Omni Studio, and these are the scenarios that we will be discussing while learning Omni Studio. So around fifty-two use cases. Okay, so this is the development stuff that we will be discussing. Okay, now moving on to the next thing that is end to end project. This is important. So I hope you are able to see this. So this is the end to end project that, that we will be implementing and it is having lots of things which will be uh, focusing on each and every aspect like admin, QA, BA, developer. Okay. And we will be seeing deployment as well, like from one org to another, how we can do the deployment. Okay. So here you can see we have four different applications. First, we will be implementing uh, account or customer management. Here you can see uh, uh, these blue highlighted boxes are having standard objects. So we will be uh, seeing them initially because I know uh, lots of beginners are also in this training program. So quickly we will be seeing all these standard objects and uh, uh, soon we'll be jumping onto the resource management. So here you can see we have all these custom objects. So these green are related to one particular application. Okay. So we will be creating one application known as resource management and I will be sharing you all the data model. So this data model, you can see now what all fields we need to implement, what all functionalities we need to implement, whether we need to create lookup or master detail, right? Whether we need to create any report, dashboard, validation rule, flows, or any uh, Apex class. So whatever uh, we need to build, everything I will be sharing with you. So if we scroll, so here, uh, these kind of uh, like tables you will be having for uh, fields and other requirements like record type, page layout, then uh, another object, its fields, another object, its fields, then roll up summary, then validation rule flows. So these kind of stuff I will be giving you, right? So this is one application, which is resource management. And uh, if we see top things like customer management and resource management, so here we will be focusing more on admin stuff. Right, we'll be focusing on low code development. 
So apex will be less uh, or you can say no apex will be here because initial one or two months, I want you to focus on the configuration related stuff. Okay. Now, so this we need to complete in first month customer management and resource management. This we will be completing in the first month. Right now you might be thinking how it will be possible. So in these one and a half hour, I will be explaining you the concepts and in your one and a half hour, you will be focusing on this project as well as end to end, uh, as well as some scenarios. Okay. If you can spend more time, so it is up to you. Okay. So our regular sessions are separate and this end to end project is separate. So both will be running parallelly. So we have regular use cases that we'll, we'll be practicing and then th comes this project that we'll be doing. Okay, now this part is very much important. Project management. So it is different in nature. So as an admin, you will be implementing this application which will be known as project management. Okay, here you can see objects are epic, sprint, story, task, test case, defects, bug. Okay. If you see these objects, so they are kind of uh, related to QA and BA. If you see test case defects bug, so it is focusing on QA role. What QA does, whatever is already be already implemented. So they test those things. So they need to create test cases. And once they write test cases, so there may be defects or bug, right? If there are defects, so you need to log those defects into a different object. If there are bugs, you need to log them into separate object, right? Now, if we go above, so here through opportunity, we will be creating a project object. Sorry, we will be creating a project record under this project object, right? With this project, we will be doing all these resource management. And here we will be doing the project management. So we have Epic Sprint Story. So Epic means like if you have a, a customer for whom you are building something. So let's say if we talk about this whole end to end uh, diagram. So here we have four epics. One is customer management. One is resource management. One is project management and one is recruitment management. So epic means collection of requirements in a bigger sense, right? Now what we do, we divide epic into sprints. So sprint is like two to three weeks activity in two to three weeks, what requirements you can accomplish. So those we record under a sprint. Okay. So, uh, Anirudh asked like what BA does, what QA does, uh, how we will be learning these things. So as an admin, you will be building this application as an admin, you will be building this application basis on the fields and other requirements that I will be sharing with you, right? Then you will be working as a BA. So as a BA, what you will do for this whole end to end project, you will be creating Epic. You will be creating sprint. You will be creating story, right? So in that case, you will learn how to write Epic, how to write sprint, what should be the duration of sprint, how to write story, what needs to be written in the story right? How we can uh, prepare different, different stories for different, different requirements. So we will be guiding you like uh, these are our requirements. And now as a BA, how you can translate those requirements into a story so that architect can build a task, right? And QA lead can build test cases or QA, senior QA. So task will be done by developers and test cases will be executed by QA testers, right? So I hope you got the idea, like you will be building this whole application as an administrator. Then as a BA, you will be filling Epic sprint and story. Then as a QA, you will be uh, working on test case defects and bug and little bit architect as an architect, you will be writing solutions for these stories. Okay. So I hope with this. Uh, you will be able to say in interview, like you not only know how admin QA and BA works, you know how they implement those things in an application. And uh, in 
uh, IT ecosystem, uh, there is one tool which is uh, very much famous known as Zira. You might have heard about that. So generally we use Zira for project management. So you can say it is kind of clone of Zira. Not exactly Zira, but we will be having all the things that we track in Zira, right? So as a BA or QA, if you are going and you are giving an interview. So if you are able to explain this application in detail and you say like, I implemented it and I used it for a BA and QA role. So I think an interviewer will be impressed with you, right? Now comes our fourth part, which is recruitment management. So this recruitment project is like very much popular on YouTube and admin part is popular only. Development part is not popular. Why so? Because I didn't solve that. I just solved admin part. People are seeing videos and they are implementing. Admin I didn't uh, solve and they are unsolved still. So people are facing some struggle. So here lots of development related stuff will be available. So we'll be seeing Apex, LWC, right? So those stuff will be there with this project. So we will be picking it in the month of three and four. So initially you will be building this application uh, as an admin, and then uh, we'll be focusing on the development related stuff. Okay. So this is the complete end-to-end -end project that we'll be doing. And this way, like you will be having four different applications that you can mention in your CV and you can defend your interview. Like as a beginner, you implemented these four applications and you can explain like what all functionalities you have done. So, uh, I know like this is not a, a real customer project, but it will give you all those experiences like you are working uh, for a customer because the key area is this project management. So if you, if you focus on this project management application, so it is, it is the uh, difference here. Okay.